You were too young to die, dear husband, sobbed Andromache. You've left me without any message of farewell. And now Troy will fall and your worst fears will come true. Your son and I will be sold into slavery and I am the most wretched woman in the world. She collapsed to the ground with her friends weeping all around her. And Hakuba took over the lament. Hector, she wailed, you are the dearest of all my children and you had a terrible death. Achilles treated you shamefully. But you look as though you died peacefully in your sleep. Even the gods loved you, my precious son. Grief choked her into silence, and the others cried even more bitterly. Then someone else came walking towards them, and the women stepped aside to let her through. Beautiful Helena, the cause of the whole war, stood looking down at the body of her husband's brother. I wish I'd died before Paris had brought me here, she said. You were the best of all my Trojan family, Hector. The others resented me. But you were always kind. Now you're gone, and I have no friends left in this city. People shudder as I walk by. <gasps> alas for your death, alas for my terrible fate. For nine days, the people of Troy wept for their dead prince. As they mourned, they went backwards and forwards to the hills, gathering wood for his funeral pyre. On the tenth day, Hector's body was ceremonially burnt and his bones were gathered for burial. For all that time, Achilles kept his promise. The truce held and the Greeks didn't attack. But on the eleventh day, the Trojans posted sentries to keep watch while they built Hector's burial mound. And they worked as fast as they could, afraid of being caught off guard. They knew the war wasn't over yet. Yeah.